Hello folks, Lawrence here, and bringing you a live twin slash evil twin tier list for July 2021. I know we're almost out of the month. It is the 23rd currently, two days away from a new record of Ragnarok chapter. Anyway, we're not going to be talking about any of the OCG only cards. So no live trouble or live twin trouble song, no evil twins trouble sunny. I will just, just basically so I can have content whenever I'm in kind of a lull. I'm going to save those for when those come out. Save that tier list for when those come out. Um, in the meantime, it's a, it's a tier list. Uh, I, tier lists are kind of fun videos to make because, you know, hopefully you get a good bit more audience interaction. But, uh, hey, let me quit rambling on and get into this. Uh, just to break down my tiers, S tier is broken OP, A tier is a staple card, B is just kind of an okay card, C is a niche card, and F is you don't ever want to use it. And we can talk about the live twins really quick. Uh, Lilla and Kiss Kill. Oh, nope, put them a little too high up. They are only A tier. The reason they are not broken OP is because they have a restriction on their summoning effect, which is you can only you which is you cannot control any other cards when or monsters when you use that summon effect. So if you had a like three other monsters on the board already, you normal summon Lilla and then get yourself Kiss a Kill. That'd be insane. That would be broken slash OP. But because you have to control no other monsters, it, it balances them out. They have a life point manipulation effect as well that almost never comes into play, so I won't talk about it. Their summoning effect, though, I would not consider broken, like I said, because there is the staple restriction on it. Let's get into the evil twin variants of them, Lilla and Kiss a Kill. And again, I'll put them under staples, obviously. You're not going to run live twins without any of these four cards. But you're also, they're, they're not broken. And the reason I say that is because, one, all of these guys are once per turn anyway, which, you know, it's modern Yu-Gi-Oh, they're printing everything to be once per turn unless it's Sky Strikers. And two, the uh, evil twins... They, when you use their summon effect, you lock yourself into only being able to use fiends from the extra deck. And as I've said previously, you've got Unchained Abomination, you've got Underworld Goddess, and you've got Baguska. That's kind of it as far as um, fiend link monsters or fiend extra deck monsters go. You don't have like an access code talker that'll completely just wreck the game for you. So that's why I put all of them under staple because of their limitations on their summoning effect. If they didn't have those limitations, OP broken, absolutely. But Konami was smart enough to balance them out, so we're going to leave them right there. Evil Twins, Kiss, Kill, and Lilla. This is evenly matched the monster card. It's actually pretty decently easy to summon, and you do have a way to search it out. The problem is it's evenly matched if they have three or more cards, which... At that point, you're probably getting negated all over the place anyway. And if it's trap cards that are interfering with you, they've probably used them up by the time you get to Evil Twins, Kiss a Kill, and Lilla, and they have less than th and they have less than three cards. So that's why I'm putting it at niche. It can, if you're going to run it, you only run one of them. I personally don't ever run this card. It'll come in more handy once Evil Twins Trouble Sunny comes out in the TCG. But aside from that, nah, it's a, it's a niche card. You don't really need it at all. Live Twins Home. I personally despise the card. I hate the card because it limits your extra deck into only being able to summon these two Evil Twin monsters. Sucks right now, but again, once future support comes out, it'll be a lot better. Now, what Home does, you discard a card to special summon a twin... And then if that's the only monster you control, the twin can set, use its effect and then set up the board in typical fashion. I, like I said, I just don't like the limitation of having to only summon evil twins from the deck. And especially because they've got their own rota coming out. Live Twins Home is about to be outclassed entirely. So you use it right now because you have no better options. And I really should put it lower. Like if I had another tier, like a like a in between a B and a C. Like if I made a niche D and then I made a C something else, it would be lower. But I wanted to keep things simple. I'm just gonna say it's okay. I hate it, but you can use it, or you can use cyanide mining, which I think is the better option. 
secret password. Secret password searches out any of your archetypes, spells, or traps. And if you already have uh, Evil Twin, or not, I don't even think it has to be Evil Twin, just if you have a Kiss, Kill, and Lila on the board, you can search out this monster right here, which we really don't care about that effect. So you can use it to search the new Rota coming out. You can use it to search Life Twin Home. You can use it to search one of your traps. You can just kind of go crazy with it. It's only okay, though, because you don't have the Rota out. Once the Rota comes out, I have a strange feeling this is going to be a staple card. Uh, Live Twin Channel. This is their field spell. So what Live Twin Channel does is whenever your opponent attacks, you tribute one of your Live Twin slash Evil Twin monsters and you negate the attack, thus setting up for the Evil Twins to do their summoning effects. Uh, you know during the main during the main phase. Uh, the other thing t uh, Channel does is at the end of the turn, it recycles one of your uh, twins into either the deck or your hand if you control no monsters. Generally speaking, you're not going to have trouble recycling these guys on the field without um, channels. So it's kind of, I don't want to say redundant, but it is kind of a win more thing. It, you're, if you're trying to stick, especially if you're trying to stick to just 40 cards, you're better off uh, taking out channel and putting in like uh, maybe up, uh, Upstar Goblin or some other draw cards. You really don't need the, re the uh, recovery effects because they recover themselves just fine. Uh, next up is Boo Boo Game. <laughs> fun, fun fact, it was called in the uh, OCG Booby Trap, I think. Something like that. Well, the uh, American censors didn't like Booby in the name, I guess. I don't know. Uh, Boo Boo Trap. So what this does, uh, you basically just, it's kind of Wabaku if you remember that card. Except I don't think it protects the from destruction, which I, I don't. Even, which Wabaku was worded weirdly, but I remember back in the day, like the ruling was Wabaku just like completely saved everything. It's kind of like that, and then it's got an. So you just take no damage from that attack, not even that turn, just that attack. So it's limited in that way. And then if your opponent destroys it, not you, but if your opponent destroys it. You can take two other traps and set them to the field, which, or they have to be normal traps, by the way, which your targets are supposed to be these other cards right here. But realistically, if you were to use Booby Trap, you probably wouldn't even run it in a Twins deck. You would probably run it in something else. I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but like Infinite Impermanence would be a great target for it. But anyway, moving on. Next we have Evil Twins GG Easy. This is battle manipulation, pretty much. Uh, you get rid of one twin to boost the attack of another twin. Uh, attack damage manipulation isn't worth a whole lot anymore. So that's why we put it in F tier for don't use. It has another effect where if a card would destroy another card, you can negate that effect. Eh... I mean, by that point, by the by the time you've set up enough, you've probably got better options available. Like, I would so much rather just have infinite impermanence or an effect veiler to block um, a monster effect that destroys me. Eh, but, you know, there's just better options available, so that's why I put it under don't use. Uh, evil Twin Present. So, this is actually okay, in my opinion. I think this is all right. Evil Twin Present is basically Creature Swap. So it's a lot of um, disruption on your opponent's side of the board. So if you end your board on, say, a Twin and a Present, you use, say, Lilla to summon Kiss Kill to get yourself the draw, and then you flip Present and you swap the monsters, and hopefully they don't get to use your Link monster as you would, and then you can have, if you get rid of Lilla, you have Kiss Kill summon up Lilla to destroy something on the board. Uh, I would only consider it okay. It's definitely not a staple. And even if, and even in okay, I probably wouldn't run more than like one, maybe two, if you want to trap trick it to the board. But there's better options available for messing with your opponent, though this is a pretty interesting option as it is um, non-destruction removal. 
And then finally we have Evil Twins Challenge. Uh, where would I put this one? I'll put this under, I'll put this under okay. It's, it's okay. So what it does is you flip it and you get to res one of your twins and then immediately perform a link summon. So if you res one evil twin, or if you res one of your live twins, link it off into, say, kiss a kill, and you have an evil twin in the graveyard, then once this resolves, you can use kiss kill to res the Lilla and destroy a monster. It's all about putting one, one twin on the board to uh, complete the effect of the other one, if that makes any sense. And of course, the problem with it being that it's a trap card, so it's entirely too slow. And there's so many better options out there. Like, why would I do Evil Twin Challenge to maybe disrupt something on the opponent's turn when I could just do Monster Reborn, Res Lilla, and then do Kiss Kill to get the draw? You know what I mean? Now, they do have other effects. Off the top of my head, I don't remember them. All I remember is... The, all I remember is there's better options available, which is usually a Solemn card. So, you know, you just won't lose the life points for it. I actually have my little binder right here. Uh, Evil Twin Challenge doesn't do anything. Where is it at? Evil Twin Present, that's right. It, it, um, it did something to spells and traps, but I, you don't use Present for that purpose. You use Present to do the creature swap, because... The, the purposes of the other card could just easily be fulfilled by one of the Solemns anyway. But that's all I got for you right now. Just a quick little video, a uh, short tier list of, hey, the Evil Twins, Live Twins, what they have right now. And again, whenever the new cards come out, I'll update it just to have a video to make. In the meantime, post in the chat, uh, hey, what do you think about it? Where would you put what card? Do you agree, disagree, and go out there and treat each other like you have some sense.